All right, my burros, we're going to do a simple DTM4 pinout. This is for a CAN bus network, and it's going to go between the two AEM CAN hubs. So uh, this is green, CAN low. You can think of that as the earth. And then white is the sky. It's often yellow, so you yellow sun and green earth. And then red and black. It's pretty simple. This is just going to be a little jumper about six inches long. And it's going to connect the two CAN hubs so we can just plug everything in. So this is 20, it's actually 18 gauge wire, I think. So put it in a little 18. Oh, it's 20. So strip all these. Eighteen or twenty is going to be fine for a DTM connector, and I'll show you that in two seconds. Here, I got a DTM four, which basically everything the can hub runs off here. Tiny little thing, and then these are the sockets. So, put that on there. It's pretty good. Just a little bit longer than a finger now. Then this thing, you're going to put that on to eighteen. It's already on that. And we're going to just make sure it's, see it should be pretty much flush there. So here we'll go. Put the wire in. Make sure it's all the way. And just crimp it down and just give it a little pull and it should be good. There you go, another one down. Let's get this white one before I forget about it. These were pretty intimidating at the start, but after you work with them, it's pretty easy. I do. So yeah, in this case, the pinout is one, two, three, four. White is can high. A one on the side. So then you can look at it from, from far and you know it's always one, two, three, four. So, see, I would have forgotten. So, one. Two. Three. Four. There we go. I'll probably put a little bit of tape around there and maybe do a loop. So you can see you got to push it all the way till they're flush and then they click in. And there's a little thing that we put in there. Let me grab that. Here's the little thing that holds it in place. So you just got to make sure those tabs are all up and kind of wiggle that down. And there you go. She's done. So we're just going to cut this and then put it on the other side. Probably about that so far. You good? And we'll do one more. We got this side ready to go. Just gonna grab some more sockets, four sockets, and got my little got four connectors. So strip these. Gotta put a piece of clear on there. You gotta always think about what you're doing before you put the connectors on. So this is gonna be labeled. You gotta slide the clear on first before you forget. You don't know how many times I've done something and then forgot, and then you gotta deep pin it. So you gotta boot for this side, trying to keep it stiff. Then I gotta boot for the other side. Pretty similar length, should work nice. So, and then I've got my label. So now we can pin it out. Just make sure you never get those wires caught. Keep it like uh, totally separated. Sometimes when you're working in tight areas, you can get caught in here and rip them. Had it where it damaged it, and you got to start all over. So keep everything nice and separated like that. Sorry if I was off the camera. And then you can see, just strip it out. 
looks pretty good. And get this tool back. Drop it down in there, and one by one. I like it a little bit closer to the plastic on these little ones because it makes it easier to get it in the, the connector. The wire is so thin without the plastic, just push it. You have to use the little tool, which isn't the end of the world, but if you're on the fly, you don't want to stop and go grab the little tool. I think it makes it a little stronger, so. Like you can see the crimp, the crimp's high, so there's no point, there's no problem with it being, it's not going anywhere. There we go. So we have it all ready to pin out. Do we remember? So one, two, three, four. One being white. So where's my little connector here? Basically, it's going to be like this. One, two, three, four. Should know this by now, but Miltex Miltex one pattern and AEM and the other cans the other, so I don't want to get them confused. And there they went in together, nice. And there you go, they all in together. I'm going to put a little bit of tape on there just to give it a little bit of strain relief, I guess you'd call it. So this is the Keflon tape. I think that's how you say it. And I'll put a link to that in my little where to get everything page. Give that a second. I normally have it about five 500. Let me know if that's too hot, too cold, but it's what seems to work best. And these don't have boots. I wish they had the little part for the boot, but oh well. So I'm going to start at this end. Don't need to get all crazy. And it looks super clean. Probably should wear gloves to do this, but uh, Nice. And then let's put the label pretty much in the center. Let's get that set, and you can slide the clear over the top, and that will be that. She's gonna look pretty. So there's my jumper for the Can Hub Network, the AN. Let's uh, take it over here and we'll have a look and see how it fits in the car. One there, one there. Looks good to me. What do you guys think? 
We do an alright job. I'm pretty happy with it. So, keep watching for more tips, more uh, how to's. I got all this stuff from Pro Wire, so if you need parts, go grab it over there. And peace out.